we're going to go down to the pond and get some mud full of bacteria. We're at Puffer's Pond in Amherst, Massachusetts. Today we want to get microbes to uh, show how they can produce electricity. A microorganism is a very small organism. That's why we call it micro. You can find them everywhere. In this little handful of dirt, there would be billions. So if we're looking for mud that has a lot of bacteria that are really active, we want mud that's really gooky. <laughs> this should be really good. See all these bubbles? Look at that. See that gushing out of there? That's methane gas that's produced by bacteria. So we know there's lots of bacteria in there. This would be perfect. Yeah, there's lots of bacteria. Oh yeah, and that is good mud. You can smell it too. When it smells stinky like that, that's from the bacteria also. Sometimes microbiology is very messy. Okay, that ought to probably do it. So what are we going to do next? So we're going to take that mud back to the lab and see if the microbes in there will make us some electricity. Here's all the materials that you'll need. Wire, a screw, you'll need three metal washers, a butterfly nut, and some chicken wire that's been folded over. So to get the bacteria so they can have something to transfer electricity onto. We are just using chicken wire because it's metal and it conducts electricity easy. An adult should always do this. We'll just fold over one piece of chicken wire six times to give the bacteria as much chicken wire as they can to transfer lots of electricity. So we use a washer and a screw just to hold the wire together and then what we'll do is we put two washers on this one so we can actually put our wire between those washers. You'll need, with the help of an adult, to strip back your wires to expose it for the electrical connection. Wrap this bit of wire around our washer so we get an electrical connection. So you'll need to make two of these. So we are basically making a battery which has both a positive and a negative end. Here's what you need to make a mud battery. The electrodes we need this electronic device. This is called a resistor. You can purchase these at any electronic store. Ask for a 1000 ohm resistor. This slows down how fast the electrons can go through the wire. So we need this. Why do you need to slow down the electrons? Otherwise the electrons will just go too quickly out of the cells. We got our mud earlier and we're going to need a little bit of sand to put on top. So the electrons are going to flow from here through the resistor through this other wire, uh, to this electrode. What we need to do is move the mud into here okay. so we can get this electrode set up right. So if you want to put a little mud in here first on the bottom. Nick, you want to help? Great, dive in, buddy. That looks good. Now, if you want to put that in there, just lay it in flat. We'll keep the wire. Yep. That's sure. fine. And now let's cover the whole thing with mud. I think science is very fun right now. I think it's awesome. Uh, the most important thing is to have the electrode completely covered on both sides with mud. Okay, that looks good. So now what we want to do is put a layer of sand on top. Put a layer of sand on top. Kind of want to separate the, the mud. Lay that right on top of the sand. We want to make sure everything's wet, so we want to have a layer of water on top. Why do we need the water? To have the electrical contact, electrodes have to be in the water. So here's our two wires. Between the two wires, we put this resistor. Now what's happening is bacteria that are in the mud will start to realize that that electrode is there. They're going to attach to that electrode and start putting electrons on there. So they'll keep growing and multiplying and multiplying on that electrode and making more electricity over time. So how do we know that, that this experiment is working? With one of these uh, inexpensive meters. Let's go look at some of the mud batteries that we set up last week. Well, just touch this here. See on the meter, see how that needle moves? That's because electrons are flowing through those wires. 
produced from the bacteria. So it's still kind of a small amount. It wouldn't light up this room, but for the bacteria, it's a lot. <laughs>